Hello well wishers and welcome to my channel Aspiring Minds. In today's video we are going to discuss act 3 scene 6 of Macbeth's William Shakespeare. So grab your virtual seats and let's begin. Shakespeare's Macbeth in act 3 scene 6 offers a peek into the political climate of Scotland after Macbeth has assumed the throne. So in this scene we are going to see Lennox and another lord discuss the recent events and the political atmosphere in Scotland. Lennox sarcastically remarks on Macbeth's official version of the recent deaths that is the death of King Duncan and Banquo hinting at the suspicion surrounding the king's actions that is they feel they have a doubt on Macbeth and his hand in these two murders the discussion then turns to macduff who has fled to england seeking help to overthrow macbeth so act 3 scene 6 takes place somewhere in scotland we have lennox and another lord who are having a discussion lennox says that my former speeches have but hit your thoughts which can interpret further only i say so he is saying that what i said earlier agrees with your thinking also and we both can now draw our own conclusions i only say that things have been strangely performed macbeth was full of sympathy for noble duncan and now duncan is dead and the truly courageous banco returned too late at night remember he had gone for a ride with his uh, with his son fleans and there he gets killed by the hired murderers of macbeth but it is said that perhaps because banco stayed outside too late that he was killed and there is a suspicion which is put on fleans that it is perhaps fleans who killed his own father and then he ran away from there because when the news came to scotland about the killing of banco fleans did not come back so his death suggests that man should not remain out of doors till late at night who can fail to think how cruel it was for malcolm and donalbain to kill their noble father because um when king duncan was killed the sons of duncan also ran away so there was a high chance that they killed king duncan right but right now lennox is thinking that this is not possible how can the sons kill their own father then he goes on to say that these both acts made macbeth very very sad and in doing so it is said that the two guards who were taking care of king duncan also died and it is said that at that time the way the situation was plotted the two guards were drunk they killed king duncan and after that they happened to kill themselves also but lennox is now being able to join the dots and he is feeling that it is not possible for two similar situations to happen that is when king duncan was killed his sons ran away banco got killed his son ran away so a suspicion is there on macbeth by lennox lennox continues saying that was not that nobly done and wisely too for it would have angered any heart alive to hear the men deny it so that i say he has borne all things well that is he says that i think macbeth has plotted and planned the whole scenario or the whole system of the killing of king duncan and banco in a very wise manner that there was no chance by which anyone would doubt macbeth considering all this Lennox says that Macbeth has managed everything well. He says that I am certain that if he had got hold of King Duncan's son, they would have realized that what it is to kill a father. Fleance would have learned his lesson in the same way. But let us now talk no further because I hear Mac I hear that Macduff is now taking shelter somewhere in England and he has also refused to come and participate or join in the banquet which was done by macbeth some time back and then he goes on to ask that do you know where is macduff because they know that there is a high chance that it is macbeth who wanted to become the king and therefore he plotted the killing of king duncan and banco and then lennox inquires about where is macduff where has he taken shelter
Now at this time another lord who is present over here responds that the son of Duncan that is Malcolm has been you know deprived of the throne because if king duncan was the king malcolm would have become the king and now he's got very angry and he has taken shelter with edward the confessor the king and he is planning out a kind of a revenge that he will take of macbeth right so he says that uh, Mal- malcolm has now been received by Edward with such hospitality that his misfortune have in no way lessened the high honor that is Malcolm is getting a lot of respect from King Edward Macduff has also gone there to meet and plan and plot along with Malcolm and together they are taking the help of the people of Northumberland and they are planning a kind of a war so that with the help of these people they will again be able to usurp the throne of scotland they will have their meals peacefully they will sleep soundly at nights and they will not have to be scared that whenever they go to feast somewhere they are going to be killed so currently malcolm and macduff are in a very safe place and at the same time they are planning and plotting about how they can wage a war against macbeth so they are preparing for a war over there because they are very sure that it is macbeth who got king duncan and banco killed Lennox at this time asks that did he send for Macduff Lord says that yes he did but the frowning messenger having received a positive refusal turned his back and murmured as one who should say you will repent for sending me back with this answer Lennox at this time says and that warning might have advised Macduff to take caution and keep himself far away from Mac- Beth as his wisdom can manage may some holy angel fly to the court of england and deliver his message before he reaches there so the god will soon bless our country suffering under a tyrant so very clearly over here lenox has identified that macbeth is a tyrant ruler thank god macduff and malcolm are not here and yes they refused to come to the banquet which was hosted by macbeth however Now finally Lennox prays to God that please get us rid of this tyrant Macbeth so that we can live at peace over here. The Lord says I will send my prayers with him. Who is him over here? It is Macduff. After this brief discussion they exit. So what is it that comes out from this scene? Let's discuss. So in this scene we see political manipulation and deception. Lennox's sarcastic comments reflect the doubt and distrust among the nobles towards Macbeth and how he has become the current king of Scotland. His remarks imply that Macbeth's version of events is highly doubtful and it seems to have been manipulated for his own benefit. The events are the murder of King Duncan and the murder of Banquo. Secondly we see the theme of loyalty and betrayal being highlighted here Macduff's decision to seek help from England suggests his loyalty to Scotland and his commitment to overthrow Macbeth because even he feels that Macbeth is not a rightful king to the throne we also see in this scene Macbeth's tyranny because his ambition his rule has led to political instability fear and distrust among nobles in scotland we also see macduff's journey to scotland symbolizes hope for restoration of justice and order in scotland and lastly the fact that the lord expresses the hope that divine intervention will help scotland in this current time of suffering so the mention of sending prayers with macduff reflects a belief in the power of divine intervention to bring about justice in scotland so we see act 3 scene 6 highlights the political disturbance and the moral complexities which surround macbeth's rule and they also hint at the potential or the possibility for redemption and restoration in scotland